Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 22, Volume 3. And I've got another big tape for us, because we love big tapes. Um, this one has got, and it's actually it's a lovely Dixon's tape as well, back in the day when Dixon's was there. Remember Dixon's? Lovely tape. Dixon's DX um, 90 tape, made in West Germany. Those were the days. Um, so, so, so yes, um, we've got another one here. We've got, on this side, though, we've got Rampage, Basketmaster, Rigel's Revenge, Twice Shy... Twice race, I don't know why we race twice, but anyway, race twice. Taipei plus screens and um, motos, motos, motos. It's well, it's racing anyway. On the other side, we've got Dark Skepter and, and uh, World Series bo um, Baseball, Super Bowl, Transformers, Renegade, Bubble Bubble, Universal Hero, and Cavalon. But we'll get through this side first. But anyway, what, what, one of the things that happened though last week, you remember how I had that uh, game designer by John Hollis? Well, I found a copy look. There it is. That's what it looks like. Game designer by John Hollis. It's quite a, quite a meaty piece of kit, though. Look at the size of that. Chunky. It's like a video cassette. It reminds me more of a um, Betamax than a VHS. But you can exclusively create games within this. includes eight games and movements and whatever else is. But... Um, I don't think it allows you to save the games out as something you can you can you provide to somebody else, which is a bit of a shame. But it was sold as not having instructions. But look, they're there. They were hidden. They were underneath the game designer thing. So I'm wondering whether or not I can make a Space Invaders for for, for somebody, possibly featuring some 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 uh, an eggy fiend of some sort, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, in the meantime, let's get this into a tape drive. Okay, the tape is in the drive, so we'll go down our favourite, which is uh, basic and low dit dit. So basic, low dit dit, or low speech marks, speech marks, and let's press the play button. Rampage, though. Let's start with. Uh, uh, do you know something? I love Rampage. I'm a bit of a fan of Rampage. Rampage is one of those games that uh, that that I, I kind of think works really well because it's three players. The arcade version, though, if you've ever seen the arcade version, it seems very stretched. The graphics are very high res and the number of colors are quite low so it's not it's not quite as good as you think it was but it was obviously good enough for somebody in their i don't know why in their right mind to turn it into a movie starring uh dwayne johnston mr mr the rock himself um he he he, he started a movie about it which which featured like the lizards and the and the and the monkey thing and it was just a bit weird realistically I, I i don't know did you have you seen it have you i mean is it a movie you've seen i don't know i don't want to say about it it's like exists can't really yeah it oh we've had a crash we've had a crash let's go back and let's rewind let's rewind it's been a while since I've had one of those, and I, that's, that was a proper crash. That wasn't even a that wasn't even a that wasn't even an R tape error. That was like was that was like I'm just going to explode. So so let's play it again. Uh, play it again, Sam. That was a great game, wasn't it? Or was it Sam Cruise? Wasn't it? it was Sam Cruise? Um, was it play it again, Sam? I think that was actually a, a, a game from Mastertronic. Yeah. Was it Calling Sam Cruise? Sam Cruise was a good game, though, whatever that one was. Was it Calling Sam Cruise or something similar? The one which was part of the, the same people who made the, the school days and um, back to school, um, those those ones, the ones where you had, like, 4,000 buttons, and it was just... I mean, to be fair, it was visually stunning. That was a really clever game back in the day. I mean, it really is. There are games today that would probably could take some serious cues from that. I'm surprised nobody actually has done... I, I bet you there is a back-to-school remake. But I'm surprised that nobody's done... Well, I suppose the closest you'll get is Bully, isn't there? What was it um, the one the one from uh, Rockstar? Rockstar did, did one before they did... Um, it was when they were doing tests, wasn't it? it was so you had you had the ping pong ball, ping pong from Rockstar, and then oh, it's not gonna don't don't want to play, doesn't want to play. Let's see what we got. Let's see whether or not I have got stop that horrible noise. See whether or not from behind me I have got a copy of Rampage. I've got one handy. Let's just get this. Let, oh, it's come off the shelf. It's there. 
It's the Hit, hit Squad version of it. it. Just happens to be close by, so the Hit Squad got a re-release of, of, of Rampage. Right, okay, flip the tape over. Pop it in. Let's go down to the basic and load it. Load dip dip. What was I talking about? I forgot what I was talking about. I've forgotten, forgotten entirely what I was talking about there. I was talk, I was talking about I was on hit squads. Oh no, yeah, right, that's right. So the the equivalent, I guess, of school days and and, and the replacement school days was, uh, or or the modern day equivalent. It's probably bully, isn't it? Which was which was when Rockstar were testing their um, engine on uh, for for the, the upcoming GTA Four. Um, with a very with a much smaller environment, and it's really good actually. Bully's Bully's one of the is is a pretty is a pretty great game actually. If you've not played it, it's well worth a play. It, it was on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. I don't know if it was on the original um, PlayStation 2. I don't think it may. I don't think it was quite that old. I don't think it was old enough to be on there. It could be though. I might, I might be completely lying there. But but yeah, it was it was a good it was a good it was a blooming good game to be honest with you. I did like that one. So 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 in fact in fact I liked it so much I hundred percented it. Um, and there's only one achievement that's quite difficult which is to, to kiss a boy. Um, which is the, the hardest achievement on the whole thing because once you pass a certain point in the game you can't do that again. That interaction is no longer available to you. So so yeah, it's 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 a great little little sort of game as it goes. And I don't know how we got there from from from, 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 from Rampage. I'm not even I can't even believe that Rampage existed as a movie. How how did that happen? Somebody said, "Let's let's do a, a really old obscure for the most part for most people." And of course, kids of the gener now nowadays generation will have no idea what Rampage was. It just it just just, it just they'll just think of the, the, the that one that Dwayne movie. I don't know. It's the Rocks movie. I bet he got paid millions for that. Probably did, didn't he? he got paid millions to be to act with a CGI monkey. I've got coffee. I've got a big, 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 big. I've got a jug, almost a jug of coffee. A whole, whole, whole fantastic sort of. Well, I say jug. It's a, it's a very large cup. And, um, it's big enough to put my head in. It's like a bucket of uh, coffee. So, so we've got a bucket of coffee. Mm. Oh, and it's utterly delicious. It really is. Really is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so much time with coffee. I, I should. This should be. It could almost be. It's not what's on the tape. It's what am I drinking? Um, <laughs> vast quantity of um, coffee. That's what I'm drinking. But anyway, I've had a week off as well. So so I can't I can't even I can't even talk, talk about anything particularly. However, I have noticed something. You, you, you probably if you're into the sort of gaming scene, you'll have seen it. The layoffs that are going on. We've got to talk about the AAA companies uh, and and not so AAA companies laying off staff on mass. There seems to be from from Electronic Arts to 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 505, which are the guys who um, own the rights to Judge Dredd, to 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 you know um, Activision and Microsoft and and all these people are all laying off people all over the place staff and cutting costs now when they do this by the way it's not because of quality of the well i'm saying that you could go a good question rock studies product to be honest with the with the with the with the suicide squad thing apparently it's a bit of a disaster but 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 you've got a question you know it's what it is is motivated by shareholders effectively so what we want to do is we want and and this is how accountants work as well a little bit they 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 look at the uh, they look at the books and they go, ooh, all them staff there. Do you really need them all? Because um, we haven't done as well as we thought we were going to do. So why don't we just shed a whole bunch of them and uh, and make room for 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 you know we'll make more money next time round. So you shed all of the more expensive developers as well. You get rid of the ones that are quality uh, um, creators because their wages are probably the highest. And you hang on to the the less you know the the, the less senior ones and and uh, they they you know and it's a, it's a perpetual circle this at the moment I, all i can see from my point of view is with the, all these layoffs and things is the raise of the or the rise of the the independent developer again the indie developer i hope that they are now um uh, you know 
grabbing the bull by the horns. I think the problem is there's a lot of love lost here with the with the AAA industry. It's a very expensive thing. Um, the shareholders expect billion dollar games. They're not getting billion dollar games because they're getting beaten by strange things like Vampire Survivor that sells for three pounds fifty on Steam. You know they're getting beaten by Minecraft, which was originally oh no Microsoft owned that, but let, let's be honest, it was it was still cheap to to, to play or buy. Um, let's just change the keys to the key keyboard. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, left, right, oh, down, punch. Right, Lizzie, C, computer controlled. C, computer controlled for Ralph. And let's start the game. So the idea of this, the game, yeah. So so back, sorry, before we go on, anyway, yeah. I, I, I can just, it's just a bit of a, it's just a strange scenario out there at the moment. I don't know what quite why, but... But but it is quite a strange scenario. Right, let's have a go at this game. I love this arcade game. It was one of my favourites on the Spectrum. I, I do like it. Sausage Scam Exposed. Job opening in National Guard. Mayor speaks about Rampage must stop. So I'm I'm George, the gorilla. There, at the end. And the idea is to break up buildings. Um, your health's at the top of the screen. It's a little bar. Um, and you're basically breaking up buildings. Um, and sort of, I guess, fighting with your with your... With your, with your, oh, I fell off the, jumped off the building. Um, and you've got to eat the peoples. I might eat this person here. Yum. And I'll have that glass of juice as well. And then I'll eat that person there. And I'll have that pork, um, um, pie there. And we'll go, well, oh, don't punch me off the edge of the building. There's somebody throwing dynamite over here. And the idea is to just break up the buildings and then, uh, and that's it. Jump, jump, help, George, jump. Don't eat people. Uh, and and you basically just smash things up, and it's a points-based game. But I mean, there's not many games back in the day which allowed you to smash up buildings. It's just kind of a cool game. And then, and then there's the, of course you can beat up beat your friends and your colleagues at the bottom of the screen. Well, Lizzie being the the lizard, um, and Ralph being the uh, the the werewolfy type thing, um, and me of course being George. Woman finds lake to be radioactive. Experimental pills have effect. Speaks about rambage, but stop. I I do love this though because it's just simple. It's you know, and I can smash the building behind by pushing up and attack. Look like that, and don't eat the poison because it's bad. Yeah. So I'll go on this building here and we'll punch this one. Great game, this one. There we go. Building down. Punch these windows out. I'll punch that window out. Somebody help me cr smash this building, please. I'll bench jump on this building. There we go. They all fell off. You can punch down helicopters. Basically, anything you see, you can punch. And when they get you get killed, you get changed back into a human again. It's a great game. Has this ever turned up on What's On Tape before? I'm not sure it has. I'm trying to hit the helicopters. The winner! Hands in the air. Hit the car. Extra points. Is there no end to this rampage? There will be, because my engine's getting low. It may very, very, very well happen very shortly. And you can punch the train back as well. There's a train. I'll get that food. I like this. This is a very good... I think this, I think this is a pretty accurate conversion of the arcade game, this one. Uh, which is the reason why I quite like it. There we go. Grab that money. Let's move down here. Building is... Building's being a bit stubborn. A little bit stubborn, that building. God, it's the helicopters that do you the most damage, actually. They come screeching down. Oh, no, I fell off. I hurt myself when you do that. You don't want to do that. This building's full of people throwing stuff at me. Look look at this building over here. Dude, got to do something about these, this, these guys. Yeah, got to do something about these guys. 
I'll eat him. I'll have the drinks. Let's go to the cafe, which has got some nice humans to eat. Nom, 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 nom. Nom down a human. That's a good game. Well, you, 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 I, I, if you've not played it, I do recommend it. It's really good on the Master System as well. I don't know if it got transferred to anything else. I know that they made um, Rampage World Tour on the, 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 the PlayStation. Um, not a game that I remember very well. Oh, chicken. I'll eat the chicken. Yeah, they they have done they have done remakes, but they've all been a bit dis they've all been a bit unsatisfactory, I think is the word to to to, to describe them. They've all been a little bit less than the they should have been. I mean, but look at that, it's brilliant, isn't it, for for graphics and things like that. Back in the day we'd have been chuffed with this. If you hit the train right, it, by the way, it, you can you can destroy it and it'll it'll well not destroy it, bounce it back at your uh, your opponent. Uh, speaks about rampage. Woman finds lake to be radioactive. I quite like this. Is there no end to the rampage? No, there's no end. There's no end. Man, I'm going to smash everything up. It's great. This. What was it like on other formats? I think I've played it on a few. Master System is probably one of my favourites, though. That 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 most definitely played really well. You could only play two player though. That was a bit of a shame on it. It wasn't wasn't a um, a multiplayer. It wasn't a multiplayer. I'm gonna die. I've just turned into a little man and disappeared. We both we both out of the level. We're both gone. We're out of here. There's a car there, like the Blues Brothers. Do 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 do. Meant to be um, what was it? Was it Peter Gunn or whatever there it was? That was what it was meant to be. Anyway, it wasn't anywhere close. It was nowhere close. Right, put that back on the shelf and let's get the tape back in the drive and see what else we've got on here. Good one, it that one. That was a good start. I like that one. That was a good start. It's good to see. Good to see that we got some good stuff on this one. I don't know what we got now. We've got Basket Master. Ah, Basket Master. Basket Master for me is is has a, is one of the cleverer um, uses of, of of the graphics on the spectrum, especially when it zooms in. I am rubbish at it, so don't expect a a performance that. Um, We'll 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 sort of set the world on fire. There's no Michael Jordan's here. That was a good movie actually. Did you see that one? Um I think I can't remember what it's called. Is it called Nike or Jordan's or whatever else? It had uh Matt Damon in it. Um Team America? No. I've watched far too much telly over my lifetime. Eighties, nineties, two thousands, even seventies. What was that? What's, what, what was that? What was that? What was I looking at? The watching the other day. Goodwill hunting. What? What? Why? Are we, why are we saying goodwill hunting? My wife thinks that Team America and Matt Damon um, statement are the same thing. No, Matt Damon's definitely in goodwill will hunting. A lot of that was uh, was a lot of that was uh, improvised by uh, by 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 uh, um, Robin Williams. That's going well. Totally, totally on. Computer's like, yeah, there's noise. I'm not even listening. I'm not even listening. Go on, listen, listen, listen to the tape. Goodwill Hunting. That was that was that was that was that was. Oh yeah, that was a good movie, wasn't it? Clever, but but good. Right, okay. Let's go with the tape in the other drive. We've gone from uh, tape perfection the other week to tape not so perfection. Go on. There we go. No. That isn't so good. Basket Master. I wonder if this is on... Uh it says looking desperately for his, his mobile phone. Where have I put my mobile phone? I've lost my mobile phone. Hang on, where's my mobile? Hang on, I've lost it. I've lost it. Hang on, where are you? Right, okay. Uh, where's it at? 
I have no idea. It's somewhere. Now I'm going to find the blooming thing. I'm going to need that if we're going to do what's on the tape. It's, uh... I'll tell you what. Yeah, hang on. I'm going to push the button to find my mobile. I can hear it ringing. Hang on. Found it! Found it! One of those things, isn't it? It's it's like it's like it's like one of the <laughs> mobile phones nowadays. Finding it with your watch is awesome. Right, let's find out where where, where are we? Where, uh, play play as the play ZX search. I'm sure Basket Master is on here. I'm now exhausted from going upstairs. Basket Master. No, it's not. It's not. It must be one of those that's got a denial of whatever it is. Oh, that's no good. Do I have it on another gate of tape handy? I don't know if I have it, actually. I don't know if I have it. Let's let's move on for a bit. And I'll see if we can dig something out for that one. Might not happen, but we'll see. We'll see. A little basket master if we can't find it. Right, okay. For fast forward. Fast forward. What are we going to now? We're going to Rigel's Revenge. This should be a relatively we should have this one should definitely Oh, somebody's recorded sounds. Right, okay. I think that's the sound that you get on the tape. For for Basket Master. It's not a bad one actually. Rigel's Revenge. I don't know. I think I've got this. It looks like a bit like I think the guy in the front of it looks a bit like Tom Selleck of, uh, of Magnum PI fame, and and of course uh, the uh, the the uh, um, ever popular um, three guys and a baby or something like that, a little girl. I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? It was a, it was a thing with um, Ted Danson and and uh, Tom Selleck, and what was the other guy called? Oh, what was he called? Anyway, they couldn't tell who the father was. Of the, they, they could have been any one of these three guys. It's like that My Two Dads thing that used to be on. Do you remember that years ago? My Two Dads. Though, do you know what? No, the, the episode that scar, scarred me the most is where they had one about drinking and driving. Do you remember this? Do you remember this episode? I remember this episode. It's kind of burned into my head. Now, I don't remember how, how accurately I remember this, but basically they get drunk to prove that drinking and driving is a bad thing, and then they, they both say that... And then they play racing car games on something like the, like a like a, a, a an Xbox, or a, not an Xbox, but, a, you know, sorry, a, a Mega Drive or something like that, or a, a, a Genesis, if you, Genesis, if you're in America, but um, they get this thing and they go for driving and then they're like, hey, let's go drinking again and let's go driving for real to prove who's the better driver. Um, and it kind of scarred me because it was kind of there was kind of a that dangerous moment where they could have gone out drinking and driving at the same time. And then of course he went and joined um, the, 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 the 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 aliens, didn't they? The the the, the one of the dads um, and and, and uh, sent people to LV four two um, six. Um, and that was that went very badly for for most of the colonists that there. They all got scoffed by aliens. Well, actually, no, they got changed into aliens. However, apparently, they're going to do aliens prequels now. I don't even know where we're going with this. Are they not prequels already with the with those uh, weird and wonderful ones they did? Those uh, covenant things. I don't know. I'm so confused now by the whole alien saga. It's you ha literally had. The uh, one of the most perfect alien creature nastinesses in the universe, and then you went and mucked with it. Why would you muck with it? I don't understand mucking with it. I do think though that the guy who played the the android can't remember his name. The act, uh, Fast Fastbender. 
Michael Fassbender or something like that. Anyway, played played uh, played Magneto in the the young X Men. Um, I I think I I liked him. I liked his role in it. I liked the whole thing. I kind of half liked some of the the ideas. Some of it was rubbish though, to be honest with you. So most, in fact, most of it was pretty. Yeah, very weird. Oh, that's a loader. Rigel's Revenge. Gold. It's all. It's all very spacey now in the back of there. Look at that. It's like a space chicken. You see where I'm seeing with the chicken. So let's, there's his beak at the front. There's there's its um, crest at the top. There's his head. Then it's got chicken legs to its little chicken feet at the bottom there, at the bottom. And then uh, it's pooping out the back, um, sort of chicken feces. That's that's what it is. It's a chicken, chicken spaceship. I probably ruined that for anybody who thought that was a real spaceship. I'm sorry. I, 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 that's how I saw it. It's a chicken, chicken, chicken's bum. <laughs> coffee, down. More coffee. Mmm. You know what? We didn't get a lot of base basketball games in the UK. It wasn't really a big. It wasn't a big hit. I had a friend who was quite into uh, basketball. Still plays today. Um, enjoys it quite a lot. Plays for a team. More elderly now, like myself, but still plays. But you have to. You have to be tall to enjoy basketball. I think that's the. That's the general gist of it. I think I wasn't tall enough to to, to enjoy. It. I'm not not short by any means, but I, I wasn't really tall tall enough to enjoy basketball. I think that's it's a tall man's game is basketball. That's definitely what it is. Yeah, and then we had we didn't we never played baseball. We played rounders and softball, rugby, football. What else do we play? Cricket cricket a game I still to this day don't understand my granddad used to love watching it but I think he just used to get drunk and then uh, and then uh, and then sort of uh, you know watch it for hours and hours and hours while drinking and then fell asleep but anyway what's 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 this the scout ship hovered a few feet above the darkened street Harper jumped lightly to the ground and turned to see a craft rising slowly into the night sky with the lights intense, ten, sensor, with light intensifying goggles, every detail was very was clear. After a few minutes, a figure came into the view, jogging slowly down the street. At the same time, Harper heard a low rumble to the east, which he ignored until the first shell exploded. Oh, somebody's exploding! And that's that was probably not the right reaction to that. <laughs> Ooh, something exploded. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was, is this the one I'm thinking it was? Was. It was a different one. Pretty sure this had Tom Selleck on the front cover of it. Variation of. I love the fact that it was an awful lot of pilfering went back on in the day as well. You know, there's sort of um, various imagery so from, from, you know, um, from Arnold Schwarzenegger. To to, 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 to to sort of uh, Sylvester Stallone all uh, in in within those sort of uh, an early imagery. I think it's it's Contra, isn't it? A Contra that's, that's uh, uh, it's a super Greek Grisor as well, which got just basically got them on the cover, but slightly different facial features. It's it's naughty, but it's good. But you know that's what they do. They used to do. They used to use reference material anyway back in the day for for. For, for, for sort of, uh, I, I guess people still use reference material. That's what it's for. It's for referencing what you want to do with your uh, with your image and 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 the such like. It's a good load there, this one, big one. Two bad ones, possibly one good one here. I'm trying to see if I can actually see a copy of it here. I can't, to be honest. Yeah, so um, how's your week been? I've been, uh, as I say, I've been off for a week, not doing anything very exciting. Did a lot of, did a lot, of, did a lot of um, charity shop hunting. It's one of our sort of, um, what my wife and I like, kind of like that. Mrs. Demon and I like to uh, go for a little, little bit of charity shop hunting, see if we can discover anything nice. Um, I got a couple of, uh, I got found a couple of um, sort of complete and unopened board games and things, or card games, should I say. I've been quite into them at the moment. Um, not very much in the way of um, computer stuff. I, I hope one day that I'm going to walk through a place and I'm going to look at the, you know, the, the, the what remains of the tape cassette area, and there it is. 
like 3,000 Spectrum games, all ultra rare from a collection you've never seen before. Um, it's not going to happen, but it, one day it might. I got a few uh, blank cassettes as well. I like. I see. I've inadvertently become a blank cassette collector. It's, I didn't. I didn't realise I had. But but this has happened because, of course, I am doing what's on the tape. And I quite often end up with these blank cassettes as part of it. So, so you know, they are sealed as well. So, so I do end up with quite a few of these. So, so it, it is, it does happen. It does happen. I get quite a lot of them. So inadvertently, so I end up with one, um, uh, one. Oh, ah, uh, it's a, it's a, it's dark. Harper could see nothing from uh, somewhere in the darkness. He heard a low moan. Oh no, I'm in an orgy again. Um, <laughs> uh, stand, stab. No, we won't stab anything. Stand up. <clears throat> Look. Feel. Ground. Oh. Huh? Um, north. Stumbles about in the darkness. South. East, west, right. Okay, that's go. That going well. I for inventory. What have we got? Is wearing his utility. It's holding nothing at all. Um. Where? Did he have some goggles put before? I think he did. Say hello. Mumble something to, to mumble something to himself. Shit! No, shout. Hello. Starts to get a sore throat. Well, where's this mumbling on the ground then? He's wearing utility strip. Well, gonna go. We're gonna go. A remove suit. His birthday suit. Okay. Um, dance like uh, nobody is watching. Prances around a bit. Oh my god, he did! Rather conspicuous. All right, okay. Well, let's wear our suit. I can't believe that actually worked. How can we? That, that, that right? Okay. Um, this is this is in, in pocket. Look in pocket of suit. It's dark. Can I turn on the light? Uh, open eyes? That wasn't possible. Uh, yeah, that's about enough of that for me. I'm done. I love the fact we could dance though. That was brilliant. Dance around, pranced about with with my birthday suit on. That's what I did. Just 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 let it let it dangle for everybody. <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed to play computer games. <laughs> what was it the other one we used to do? The, the what was that one for the Amstrad? Am uh, oh, was this part two of it? I'm not sure I want part two. I'm twice shy, loader two. I still need a password. I'm guarantee there's going to be a password for Rigel, Rigel's Revenge Part Two. If this kid doesn't need a password, I'll be utterly amazed. That explains the massive gap to Twice Shy, which is which is a book by. Oh, is it David Archer? 
I think it is actually, isn't it? Isn't it? Wasn't he an ex-politician? Wasn't he a Tory politician as well? Because he disgraced one as well. They're always disgraced, by the way. Have you noticed they're always blooming disgraced? I don't, I don't get it. Why are they always disgraced? Can they not just not be disgraced and do do the best that they can possibly do for the for for the country? Would that not be more sensible? I, I don't know. I mean, why else would you vote them in if they weren't going to do the best for the country? It's kind of crazy, isn't it, to think of? I like that um, imagery. That's quite nice, that. Sort of the sun rising over, I guess, sort of whatever exploded planet is, and there's Rigel then doing his revenge on the top of the screen. Um, yeah. Never really... Why? Uh, yeah. I'm busy thinking about that, you know. It's ticking away in my brain. It's like, why would you vote for them if they don't do the best for the country? I mean, the best for the country is for everybody to be, you know, for 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 Scotland, for instance, is is an example. So so so, forty-five children no longer being homeless every single day in Scotland at the moment. Apparently, that's a stat. Um, I saw it the other day when I was in one of the charity shops. Funnily enough. Um, but, 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 yeah, would you not think that would be a, a good thing? Not to do, not for that to happen. I don't think that's a good thing that they are homeless. Mm. Anyway, coffee, more coffee. Brace yourselves. <laughs> it's, it's a long one. It's a big tape, actually. These ones are quite big, these 90 minute ones, but I, I am a glutton for punishment. I love a bit of, I love a bit of action, if that makes sense. I love a bit of action. Didn't he do another one as well, David Archer? I'm sure this man made several, wrote several books, and several of them were became um, computer games. I think the text adventures, though. So, I think you might, we might have a few text adventures here. And Taipei for me, by the way, is is the, the one of the glorious looking um, uh, sort of uh, walking simulators out there. One of the early ones before uh, it became a thing. Do you remember that game by um, Chinese Room? They were their set of developers. What was it? Everybody's gone to the Rapture. That was really nice. But all you had to do in it was walk and listen to the story, which again was really nice. But all you had to do was it was walk and listen to the story. That was a, that was a game on the um, early PlayStation Four. I think it came out on the Xbox 360 as well. Uh, the Xbox, sorry, um, One. I got you know what. It, the, 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 somebody posted something the other day about about the wars that's currently going on between the whole thing. There isn't a war. There's no war. That's just that's just bravado and hype. The the, the Sony people. Sony's doing Sony, and now they've worked out that they should sell games a bit like Sega did on multi platforms. So Sony's now selling it at least on the PC. I got. I can imagine Sony actually working with Nintendo because. Why not? Um, uh, and Microsoft is busy trying to buy everything, and then the Xbox people are complaining that they don't have Hell Divers too, which 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 is, was a Sony game in the first place. I mean, I don't see them complaining that they don't have God of War. So so and and if you want them, by the way, buy a blooming PC is the answer to the question. Get a PC, and and you can have those games. You can buy them from 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 most digital stores. So so there's there's the answer to that particular question. But but. I don't know what what there isn't a war anymore. It's Sony versus Microsoft, isn't it? Sony versus um, sort of Xbox. That's the only thing. They, I mean, Sony did brilliantly in the early days. They they were the world leader, weren't they? When you a PlayStation One, blooming leader in the in its field, fantastic. Microsoft came along with its uh, with its its Xbox um, original Xbox in the in the, when in sort of later on when the the soldier has disappeared, leaving Harper alone outside the hut. A red glow uh, uh, suffuses the sky from the horizon to horizon. A new day is dawning on Rigel. So the place is Rigel. Anyway. Oh, coffee's good. But the, the, basically, the only people having a war are, are the people being weaponized by the by by those corporations. Uh, it's like drinking Pepsi and cola, isn't it? I mean, who's but who's Pepsi and who's cola in this case? I would I would argue that Sony's still cola, and and, and Microsoft is is with its Xbox is still uh, is still is still Pepsi. 
um, especially because they can't sell them to Japan because they don't like the word Xbox um, it, because apparently it's, it's rude or in offensive so why would you name something you can't sell into that area right press load right okay well we can't do it loading break can't break Oh we go, so that was that was just a load of fun. Right, carry on, next one. Twice shy probably. Let's give this a go. This is when they used to put on the tapes that was like there was like a hundred and eighty K's worth of, uh, of of game to load because you basically load them several times over. So that that would be the that would be the, the, the case for that particular one. Yeah, so it's only Sony, Sony and Xbox that are having it, or Sony and Microsoft who are having a Barney. And Nintendo plays to its own drum. If you've not realised by now, Nintendo is just literally its own beast. I mean, it's 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 talking about Switch Two, and a Switch Two is basically just a faster version of the original Switch. That's it, because Nintendo can get away with that, and nobody complains. It's just Nintendo. Nintendo is Nintendo. Nintendo has had its first party titles for years. It is smart enough to, not to put those anywhere else other than on its own product. It's Nintendo. And that's who they are. That's what they do. Um, then you've got you've got you've got people suggesting that Sega's involved in some way. Sega's not been involved for years. Sega's just a developer who develops now, and that's all they do. Mosaic Publishing. Based on the book, oh no, it's Dick Francis. Sorry, I apologise. Not Jeffrey Archer. Pretty sure Jeffrey Archer had a good book or two. Dick Francis. What was he then? Was he? Um, oh, I don't know what kind of what kind of uh, writer he was. Was it spy stuff or thrillers and 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 uh, and sort of uh, I, I guess uh, crime dramas? I don't know. No idea. I can't remember. I'm sure they came with the book though. They were going to encourage you to read the book. I guess that's cheating, isn't it? It's like a cheat guide. You read the book and then you know what you're meant to do and the whole thing. Um, maybe. Horse racing. The only thing I can think of is, is it, is it, uh, is it, uh, um, oh, which is it? The Beverly Hills Cop 2 or 1? Can't remember. One with the, that, that, Bridget, was it Bridget Nielsen that was a very tall blonde lady in it. Very 80s looking lady. Um, yeah, that, that one. I can remember that one. That was a chicken at the bottom. Ram Jam Corporation. We've got a lot of chickens this week. I'm not entirely sure why. That is an awesome looking chicken though. It's got a horse it's got a it's somebody's got a saddle on it as well. It's even weird. Um so so yeah, and there's, there's the horses jumping over things at the top. I think I like the chicken more than I like the rest of it. It's a really cool chicken. Ram Jam Corporation. Anyway, um yeah. So so uh, the the the, the don't know much about Dick, Dick Francis, I'm afraid. I love the way they just say they gave you the book with it. Because they did the fourth protocol. Who was that who did the fourth protocol? It wasn't Dick Francis again, was it? I, don't know, I can't remember what the fourth protocol was about, to be honest. It looked just had a really cool cover. I really fancied the fourth protocol. Oh, look at the rosettes at the top of the screen there. First and first. This horse. I've never. I've no. Don't understand horse racing either. It's not one of those things that I've ever got into. Never really understood it. I think we said this last week because we had that. Um, I think it was the racing manager, wasn't it? it looked really good. It's a very racing manager. Nothing wrong with a bit of stat though. We overlook a bit of statistics. We used to, I used to like games with statistics. Still do to to to, to some extent. Not as, not as probably probably not played as many as I used to. Very much into the uh, the vampire survivor um, games at the moment. Those those sort of games that are like that. Especially because they're they're cheap, and they give you hours of entertainment. If you get good ones, you, you can really you can really spend some time on them. I, I've been really enjoying them. Just bizarrely sort of easy to kind of. Um, they're, they're difficult enough, but they're easy enough to chill out to. So I kind of like them. Kind of like them. I played all kinds of them last night. I played uh, 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 Project Lazarus, which is one with uh, sort of mechanoid, mechanoid robots. Um, you've, I played. Um, oh, what was it called? Yet another zombie survivor. Oh, that was a great one. That's a really good one. There's some really good ones out there. I do like them. 
don't think it's something you could actually get away with on the spectrum because it's like vast quantities of processing for all the number of items that are kind of going at you at the same time. You know, all the things charging at you and trying to eat you alive, as they do. So, um, but yeah, it's been, it's been, it's, been, it's it, they're good, they're good. Though, as I say, the week's been a bit of a. When it came to finding stuff, though, um, from these charity shops, it's very, it's, it's sparse nowadays. It really is. It's it kind of. I think that's a sign of the times as well. If your charity shops actually sparse, for, 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 for games and other things, that really just tells you that the world just doesn't want to get. Just wants to sell everything. You know, you, you're not giving it to the charity shop. You're selling it yourself because that's the easy way to you know that's that's the way to do it you know get get you know try and try and make some money from from what you have um to when you have more you tend to give way more so 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 they were quite sparse probably hit 20 charity shops probably maybe more and uh most of them most of them most of them had very little in the way of interesting things i mean we do we do things like buy plates for them because it why, why buy expensive plates when you can buy somebody's probably Ex expensive crockery that's been sat in a, in a cupboard somewhere that you can you can use and it just saves you a bunch of money, doesn't it? Um, you know the, the sort of expensive makes instead of instead of poor makes, if that makes sense. You know, rather than cheap from a from a supermarket where they they sell them there and things like that. So, but it's really odd to see the the whole thing sort of uh, you know automation coming into these sort of supermarkets. Spotted it the other day and uh, where were we? Um, we were in Aldi of all places, so they've put put in t tills in there, and I never thought they'd do that. You're sitting in, you're in your front room, sitting. Sit, sorry, you are in your front room, sitting. You're in, in your front sitting room. Oh, let's try that again. You are in your front sitting room. There is a TV in the corner underneath a large window. The halter piece above the fireplace is in need of repair. You can go south, west, or up. You see Enf your, an Enfield rifle. You see Sarah Derry. The book... The, the, the book. The um, telephone is ringing. Let's answer the phone. Sarah takes the phone from you and puts a hand over the mouthpiece and motions for you to be quiet. Okay, shout. <laughs> shout. Boobies. What do you mean by that? <laughs> right, okay. Uh, let's go south. You're in the hallway. There is flying ducks from the um. What's that? Flack, flack a uh, lot of big words. A heavy oak door leading to the street, and a carpet needs replaced. What is going on with this? What is this a critique of um, things? I want the rifle. Get rifle. Okay. Shoot, Sarah. Let's just say time. Click. Oh, it's empty. I need to get some yeah, ammo. Let's get some ammo. Let's go up. You're upstairs at the long, end of a long passage. Uh, open the doorways. East, north, flight. Bring your stairs down. Um, <sighs> You're in the main bedroom. You see some... Ah, some bullets for your for rifle canvas bag and exercise books from school load rifle okay right uh, south down now I can shoot they stolen someone's Donna's stolen someone's baby they need our help I'm leaving now I'll see you there. Oh, she's left. She's left. South. South. Shoot the door. Oh, I want to shoot something. Come on, let's shoot the door. Bang. South. Door's locked. Oh, come on. North. Let's blow the telly up. Shoot. 
shoot TV. Bang! Look. Nothing special. There's a TV. There's no TV now. Somebody's blowing it up. Um, West. The kitchen, the sink, knife rack, nothing special. A single hangs precariously. I could go east. Let's go up. Let's go west. East. You see a delicate pink towel. Get the towel. Wear towel. <laughs> That's enough of that. It's actually quite nice that one for a for a change. I like the use of small graphics on there to to actually make it so that uh, you you actually you you know you get you you're getting your money's worth from where you're moving to. So you, you, it is quite nice in that sense. I'm looking forward to something we can actually play beyond Rampage. Was good. I enjoyed Rampage. I want to play. I want to play a game here. This is not. This is the, the other side's definitely got games on that we can actually play. But now we're on the race, twice race. It's called. I'm hoping this does race. Be nice if it did. Oh no. This is the second part, isn't it? This is the race, and I guess I'll have to load from it. I'm kind of excited to see the loading screen, but I, I, mm, I didn't realise that. If somebody had written twice shy on there, twice, that would have been better. I think, I think we're getting, I think you're getting a lot of uh, loading and not a lot of action this week. There's not a lack of action going on. I mean, I did blow up a telly. You've got to give me credit for at least shooting the telly. I was going to try and shoot Sarah, but before she ran off, locked the front door, and I blew a hole in that with my Enfield rifle, and not happening. Enfield rifle. That'll be a um. What be what? What be a three oh three slug? If it's the type of rifle I'm thinking of. So that that those are enormous. Those 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 those, those, those bullets are just gigantic. Oh, it's the same loading screen, unfortunately. But 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 yeah, they they've got they they're, they're huge. A three oh threes. I think they were used during the First World War. It was uh it was uh, it was it was a uh, sort of standard rifle at the time. Mm. Mm. Oh, coffee's good. I like coffee. Coffee is good. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Three o three o three. Enfield three o three. They still exist in certain parts of the world because, of course, all you need to do is um, rebuild the brass and put some lead in the end of it and a bit of a bit of uh, a bit of gunpowder, primer gunpowder, um, brass, and and a, and, a, and a bullet itself, which is the the, the the lead part that we think of as. As bullets, so people will still be out there making those and putting those back together again. I think nowadays, as long as it's, in fact, when it comes to importing sort of uh, uh, vintage weapons, I think I think that the general rule of thumb is that if they're no longer making the ammunition for it, it's effectively deactivated. It doesn't mean you can't make it yourself and fire it, but you fire it at your own sort of, I guess, fear, discretion. I don't know. Fear is probably a better word to describe it. You know, it just just don't. You don't want to blow your own arm off. So so. But um, yeah, there are vintage gun collectors out there who have, have got them rebuilt with the, the the right things. I think if you had a three or three rifle, you would uh, definitely be in that category. But it's it's a monstrous round. It's gigantic. It's not. It's not. It's not a small one. It would. It. It's. Yeah. It's. 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 It's got some stopping power on it. As I say, used used by the, the the used. I think it was. I don't know if it was a specific group of the, the British Army, but it was used a long time ago. Twice shy. A Dick Francis. No idea who Dick Francis is. I should know who Dick Francis was. I think they did a lot of books back in the day. That was one of the things that my wife got as a bit of a bargain. She went into a, a charity store, a little charity store. I got a couple of things from one charity store that was close by, which was um, I got a game called um, General, which is a card board the card game, and it came with with brand new. And I also got one which was uh, which was uh, Minecraft. Not that anybody's particularly interested, but they were a quid. 
So, so I was like, yep, I love those. My wife went into uh, um, a store. Now, the, my, my, my wife thinks that, peop that charity shops are missing a trick here. They, she thinks that they should be bundling books together and selling them as bundles so they can get rid of them because um, people people don't, I don't know if they don't buy books now. I think that's the wrong word to say. It's too strong to say they don't buy books now. What they don't do um, is they don't... Uh, wow, what's going on here? We've got some loading going on. Um, they, 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 they might not buy as many books as they used to do. So, so, so my wife believes that they should buy them. People should sell them in bundles, in batches, um, to, so that you don't have to, so, 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 so that, 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 you know, people can go in and buy like, you know, 30 books for, for, for a tenner or something or a five or whatever else is. But anyway, she went to one of these stores and, uh, she bought, she managed to buy, oh, look, which horse I can bet on them. Ah, right. Okay. So the race part isn't actually so bad. I'd like to bet on the easiest one, which is uh, Tenerife, the top one, number one. Enter. How much would you like to bet? I'd like to bet fifty pounds, please. And I'd like to bet on the Solar Flare, fifty one. How much do I want to bet? I'm gonna put the other fifty quid on that. So I should double my money. Do you want to study? I want to study number 26. That's fine. No. That's it, the racing. I suppose it's quite nice that at least you get the horse racing element of it. Yeah, but she thinks she's to sell them in bundles. Anyway, went to this one charity store picks up this bag and they bundled it and there was five pounds for 69 69 books can you believe that it's a lot i've got no money left though so this is do you want no that's very unexciting Yeah, sixty nine books though for five quid, and you know what's worse? What's what's more? What's what's not worse? Well, you know what my my wife will do with that? She'll read them, all of them, every single one of them, and as she finishes them, she returns them to charity. So it's like returning them to so so she's loaned them for five pounds, and then she's just returned them back to the to the to the to the, to the sort of their their, uh, their their sort of original environment. I think that's quite nice. I think that's I think that's quite a nice way to. I'm gonna go with tape loader here because I think tape type here is a bigger bigger game that might load but i think that's quite a nice way of doing it you know the, the the whole bundling idea i mean for christmas that's what she asked for she asked for a bundle of books we bought a bundle off uh of ebay of sort of books uh, i think they were sort of comedy stroke romantic books she wanted so so we bought a bundle of those and uh she she she, she she's been reading through them she's got about 30 books to go but she's but she's blasting through all of these books you know so so and, and that's what she wanted she wanted to do that and then return them return them again back to the to the wild I don't think it's a bad thing. I think the problem with collecting, though, is you've got to have space to collect. Otherwise, you know, and you end up with just a lot of... If you've not got space for it, that's, that's I think, the biggest issue. I think that's why, you know, when it comes to books, people only can have so many books because they, they... Unless you've got a library and a space for a library, you've got nowhere to collect these blooming things. I'm a bit the same, though. I mean, I'm, I'm just full of, full of stuff. I mean, we're busy trying to convert one of our you know, sort of our garage into a storage area because it's it's got to the point where we've got so much stuff that we need somewhere else to store it. Not that we could ever use a garage anyway. It was built when it was when cars were so much smaller. I genuinely couldn't even drive a car into it now and get out of it. I wouldn't be able to get out. I'd have to open the window and climb out. Was the only way I'd actually get out of it. So so the things change and I, I do think that they're missing a trick there they should do little bundles you know it's like a pound for 10 books say and and that's probably more than they get for anything else just take that 10 books you know here's 10 books don't let people choose them just give them a little bundles you know here's a bundle 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 don't do because they do that whole thing don't they it's the it's the you know they have like a a, a bargain thing in in shops sometimes you go in there you find a bargain thing and the, everyone chooses everything they want and then they all that's left is fifa um, and that's what realistically what happens, you know, or 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 uh, I don't know, um, you know, some terrible drama that nobody ever wants. Whereas if you bundled it and you just said, "There's the bundles," blah 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 blah, take a bundle, enjoy, have fun, 
enjoy this whole thing. You know, you, you that would be that would be much better, wouldn't it? A little sort of bundle. You might not get everything you want every time, but at least it shifts some of the stuff that 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 we we didn't really want. It's you see it with the Spectrum stuff all the time. Everybody's got the Sinclair stuff. Everybody's got uh, a copy of Maker Chip, one of the rarest games that you could possibly get. Everybody's got a copy of uh, Scrabble. Again, another rare game, super rare. Um, and and of course uh, the the other the the other rare titles and you know include sort of survival and and those kind of things. So those ones, they they the only real way to get to get rid of them, shift them, and move on. It's like checking flag. I when I first restarted collecting Spectrum games again, I desperately wanted checkered flag, but it was everywhere. I must have twenty copies of it now, because, well, why not? Because there's 20 copies. But I don't, you can't get rid of these things. What do you do with them? You know, unless you're bundling them with something, you can't really get rid of them. And the reason you can't get rid of them is because they don't make them anymore. But everybody who's got a Spectrum probably has a copy of Checkered Flag. Or four. Or five. I wonder how many's out there. If you've got Checkered Flag in your collection, put it below the number of copies you've got. Because I'm interested now to know how many people, how many copies of, for instance, Checkered Flag are out there. There's loads, I'm sure of it. I've got loads of them. And when I bought bundles, I ended up with bundles and bundles and bundles where I would find, there was like most of them stuff I wanted. But then I would end up with, as I say, Checkered Flag, Checkered Flag, Checkered Flag, Survival, Scrabble, Make a Chip. I mean, and it's not the bad things. They're just, they're not a world champion game that you want. They're not the game that would 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 you know. It doesn't it doesn't get the juices flowing doing make a chip. It might have done back in the day. Oh yeah, I know how a nor gate works or an and gate or a not gate. They take a note of the counter. Yes, okay. Press any key. Uh, keyboard four zero. Oh yeah. I remember. That's walking up now. I don't know if it's space. Ah, uh, space moves things. Load. Hand. I don't want that. Drop. Pick up. How do I get out of this? How do I get out of that? What's the keys? How do I get out of this? I can't get out of this. I can't get out of the menu that I'm stuck in at the moment. What's the button for the menu? Okay. I can't get out of this menu. Uh, we need to Google it. We need to Google it. Quickly Google it. It's the first one we've actually been able to move around in, and I've, I've got stuck. Let's find the instructions quickly for the for the Spectrum version of it. Let's see if we can do that. Tie. Pay. Right, okay, let's have a little look. I remember the cover. It was quite cool. Was that Bob Wakeland? I'm pretty convinced it was, you know. Let's have a look. Seven pounds ninety-five. Those are the days. And you saying that you still get a decent game nowadays for that kind of price, don't you? It's not just. It's not just. It's not just that. What's the keys? What's the instructions? There's the instructions. Let's have a look. Uh, space toggle items. Enter fire. There. Got in. Can I press N now? No. Right. Okay. So I'm in somewhere in China. This is some dodgy fork here. It's very nice. You're in the bank. Select buy or sell. I'm just going to leave the bank because I'm not buying or selling. I don't think I've actually played this one before. I think this is a new one to the channel. It's a man. Oh, hang on. He's oh, chasing, the, chasing these guys. What are they doing? You're in the inn, buy or sell. Don't want to buy and sell. You need to buy a ship first, so go get a ship. And some guards. It's a house. 
guard wandering up and down. As I say, I'm not, I'm not, uh, sorry, I've not played this one before. Has it ever appeared on What's on the Tape? I don't think it has. I think we've managed to avoid having this on What's on the Tape. I'm looking for to buy a ship here, but I can't find anybody to buy a ship from. It's not as much of a walking simulator as I thought it was. I've got no cash. Uh, you enjoy a hearty meal. The waitress brings you the bill. As soon as she realises that you have no money to pay for her, you are thrown out of the restaurant. Yes! I had a hearty meal for nothing. Uh, where am I going? I can't go that way. Try to buy and sell something here. That's the bank. Can we borrow money? What's that? Do you think that's buy? Buy? No, I can't do anything there. Don't have enough to cash to buy anything here. Fair enough. There's the town itself. I wonder if this is the river. This is the sea. Can't leave the port without. Right, okay, let's see if we can find a boat. It's quite a nice little town actually, isn't it? It's quite quite a quite a big one. That's quite nice. I like the graphics. Those... The graphics are nice. I don't know anything else about the game though. Have you played this one before? Is this one you played? I feel like I want to know more about it, but but it's 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 a yeah a lot of love walking around here, breaking into somebody's house there. I go and wander this way, see if we can find something all the way over here. I'm buying and selling for the warehouse. I've got a ship to do it. Right, okay, fair enough. Let's go. Let's see what else we got then. Let's see what see what else is on this tape. It's been a pretty pretty unexciting tape, I'm afraid, with the uh, with the lack of uh, of uh, of uh, sort of things to do on it. It says there's some screens on here now. Plus screens. No, it's not what we think it is. I'll press the brake key because I'll get upset in a second if I do, don't do new. When it comes up like that, the next time it loads one, it just gets a little fit because it's trying to try to load what it thinks is data there. The old specky. Love a bit of spectrum action. Can't go wrong with the spectrum. Right. Let's see if we got something else here. Another funny loader. I think this is part of Taipei. I'm not sure what you get from Taipei. Was Taipei like an early um, Pirates? It feels like it could have been. I really love Pirates. I had that the, the Sid Meier's uh, game Pirates back in the day. I used to run it in EGA, C, sorry, CGA graphics and it was brilliant. Loved those CGA graphics. Those four colours. That sort of cyan, the 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 the, the uh, magenta, the black and the white, and and it was just a brilliant thing. Okay, what's this? Let's see what this is. This is our last thing. We've got very little tape left. Those are very much the last thing on here. Pick. Oh, this is where the rude pictures. Okay. It's motorsport, isn't it? That's what it's meant for it's time for. Okay. It's a, it's a rock. Mastertronic. Yeah, Mastertronic. <coughs> I don't know the game. One thousand and one.
created by. Don't know 1001s. And they did, to be fair, 1001 have done some great games. One of my favourite sort of budget titles was uh, Zub. Remember Zub? We had to go up and down the levels. That was kind of cool, that one. I really like that one. Nice graphics. Interesting uh, interfaces. Clever little Gallant game was Zub. Motos. It's not Moto, it's Motos. Motos. If I say it enough times, it'll sound stupid. I don't know this one. I think I've got it. I don't remember it. I haven't played it. It's interesting when you have to say when you get Mastertronic stuff on a get on a on a cassette. It's very weird. We have some really interesting things though to finish on the next side when we get to it. I say some really interesting things. You've got Renegade and Bubble Bobble. You can't beat either of those. They're fantastic games. Renegade on the Spectrum is probably the one of the best conversions ever made ever. That's it. Perfect. It's, it's it's damn near perfect. It really is. I I still can't beat it though. I can't believe I still can't beat it after all these years. I bloody love it. I think it's a fantastic game. I was one of the few um, sort of full price games I bought, and it was brilliant. I was like, I was like, I was, I was in love with 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 Renegade. It was it was was fantastic. And then when I saw the arcade version for the first time, because I, I, I knew it was a conversion from the arcade, but I saw the arcade version, and I thought the arcade version was pants in comparison to the Specky version. The Specky version was 10 million times better. So good, so fluid, great motion on the whole thing. And the music is brill. I mean, it's like it's like when they made the next one, Target Renegade. Um, Target Renegade, fantastic. I don't know what they did with the, the, the third one, but we won't discuss it too much. The Bob Wakeland cover is probably the best thing about it. But but Target Renegade was fantastic as well. Two players, you know, fighting along levels on a little eight bit machine like this. Fantastic stuff. Really, really good. I mean, you, you, yeah. Honestly, even with the cartridge-driven stuff, they 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 would struggle to beat the quality of both those two Renegades. They, they were just the fantastic sort of uh, games that that we we all loved in so many ways. We just loved them. We loved those games. We just spent time. I spent hours with them. The first I play. Ooh, look at the multi-chrome. Wow, that's cool. Let's see here at the start of the game. Oh, it's 128k version. I didn't know that. Oh, it's a shoot 'em up. What's my shooting button? Oh, goddamn. Oh, I've got to knock him off the edge. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, I like it. That's the aim of the game, it's to knock off the edge. It's like it's like a little sumo wrestling game. Extra thousand points chucking them off the edge. Oh awesome! Never expected that. That's actually really good. Oh, recommended. Finally we get to something that's quite good. Oh, power ups, power ups, power ups! No, no, don't knock my power up. Up. Have I got more power now? Uh, bash him off the edge. That's really good. I like quite like the physics on it. It's nice. That is cool. Oh, oh! I don't like that. Select power up art. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, I've got one. Oh no, fell off the edge. I don't know why I can't. Why, 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 how do I start that? Stop. I'm going to try the monochrome after this, just after I've done this as well. It looks brilliant. Yes, get off the edge, you. 
Yeah, it's like a little sumo wrestling game. I like it. Zero is the button you press. Oh, God. Oh, you just charge them up. That's what you can do with the, 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 the up and down on it. There's a thousand points. Oh, wow. This is really good. Apart from dying, that was really good. I want to trash the multi-colored thing, though. There's the thing that says money... Mon um, mono, what was it called? Multi-crone or monochrone? Ah, damn. Didn't want to do that. Let's just dive off the edge, quick. I'm just going to dive off the edge and just die quickly. That's really good. A little game about sort of sumo rocket and pushing rocks over with sumo wrestling wise. There, that mul multi chrome. Two. Oh, it's just. Oh, right, okay. So, what does it look like when you press. Oh, how boring! No, multi chrome it is! Why would you want. Why would you want to do that to your game? So much better. That's brilliant, though. We get th all the way through. We started a rampage. We're ending with quite a good one here. I'm just just quitting, by the way. I'm just I'm just dying. Yeah. So you want you want that one, the multi multi chrome. That's really good. That is actually really good. Based on a game, is it based on a game by Namco? Licensed by Namco? 1985? I'm now going to have to look for the Namco version of it. Moral support from Stephen Hughes. Let's see what else is on here. See if there's anything left. I don't think there will be. I think we're absolutely filled to the brim. I think that's that's just done. What the hell? We have got ghosts. Ghosts from the past, people. Time for the ghosts. You ready for it? The ghosts are here. There's ghosts from the past, and we love them. We love ghosts. Let's get the ghosts. Let's get the ghosts on. Let's press play on the ghosts from the past. Oh, something about buying a teddy. Did you hear that? Something about but monochrome teddies or something similar. That's cool. So so and now we've got sounds of spectrum, so let's push that button there. And then we've no sounds. It's all gone. It's weird. Monochrome teddies or something like that. There was not something else there. Hang on. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more craziness on here. Let's let's get the craziness on. You ready? There's some more craziness on this tape. Let's do it. Let's push the button. Find out where it'll be tomorrow. Tune in between five and seven, of course. To David Kidd Jensen right here on Signal for the brand new network chart. Now then, if you want to win a signed copy of their forthcoming album, Slippery When Wet, just a bit of a bonus competition for you, so I'd throw this in, because, well, valued prizes signed albums nowadays. All you've got to do is answer me two simple questions, the first of which, what was the name of Bon Jovi's last studio album? What was the name of Bon Jovi's last studio album? That is question number no one. No idea. And finally, question number two, who produced the last album? Okay, who produced that last album? Okay, that is the, uh, the the two questions on the writing competition. If you want to take part, drop me a line. Paul Anthony, Bon Jovi competition, Signal Radio, Studio 257, Stoke Road, etc., etc. And the first two correct entries... Stoke! Is, We're in Stoke! In fact, we see those two signed copies. The questions, once again, number one was, what was the name of Bon Jovi's last studio album? And question number two, who produced it? And that's the end of the tape. Absolutely the end of the tape. Wow. 
Stoke Radio. That's where the, that's where we were for that particular one. Stoke Radio. Anyway, with that, I'll leave you for this week, and I will catch up with you next week. Um, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now. <laughs>